Good morning and happy Monday. It's Monday morning and we spent the weekend working on the kitchen. Yay, good times. <laughs> um, so as you probably saw, last week we cut a bunch of holes in the walls in the kitchen to get some baby raccoons out of the wall because they fell down from the attic where the mommy had her babies. Um, so what we did was we took this as an opportunity to redo some of the electric in the kitchen because the wiring was really weird in here. So we did some things. Um, also, it's still kind of a mess in here because when we um, cut the holes in the walls, um, it sent dust everywhere. So we've been in the process of pulling all the dishes out of the cabinets, um, cleaning them, wiping down the cabinets, and then putting the dishes back. And we still have a few more cabinets to go. Um, but anyway, so what we did was um, this light right here above the sink used to only be controlled from behind the light. There's like a little switch back here. Um, so this light switch used to control the main light. What we did was added an outlet up here to plug this light into. So now the switch right next to the stove controls the stove. Oops, looks like somebody turned it off up here <laughs> out of habit. Um, but yeah, so now this switch near the stove controls the stove light because that makes sense. And now we've installed a switch right next to the door so that when you first walk into the kitchen, you can turn on or off the light. Awesome sauce. And then this light in the little uh, dinette area um, used to be controlled by a switch behind the fridge. So in order to turn on the light out here, you had to like reach way back here behind the fridge. That's not okay. So what we did was this big hole where we pulled out, well, this is the biggest hole that we made to pull out some of the babies. Um, we put a light switch here that now controls in there. Yay. So we're, we were going to do this anyway, just not right now. Um, it was going to be probably like in the fall-ish. Um, but uh, yay, hey, Baby Raccoon said, why don't you work on those walls right now? Um, so we did it now because holes in the walls. Um, other than that, the uh, lady who's taking care of the little baby raccoons was nice enough to send me an update with some pictures and the three baby raccoons are together. She did take the third one um, that we brought in the next day. So they're all three together, which is awesome. Uh, they're all three eating just fine. They're all three healthy. And um, they're supposed to get their first round of shots today, apparently. And after they are done with their quarantine period, they'll be introduced to additional baby raccoons of their own age that they can, you know, get get acclimated with and grow up together. Um, I did offer her, since we have such a large yard, that um, when they're ready to be released, they can release them here on our property. And um, so she said that's usually around September to October. So maybe we'll have an update about baby raccoons gonna come and live in our yard. So, uh, in the meantime, here's some pictures of adorbs baby raccoons. So, enjoy and have a good day. Okay, bye!